Okay, so hi, I'm Shamini from Shamini Films, and I want to show you how I'm currently recording audio on my camera to make music videos. So this is the whole getup. Basically, I show up at a photo shoot, and I have my camera, which is a Canon 5D Mark IV. You know, I even went to the trouble of writing all this on a black on a whiteboard for you. It's a Canon 5D Mark IV, and I have no way to hold it up, so that's a failure. Um, and it's amazing for video. And it's a photo and video camera. So I always have my strap around my neck, and I use that as stabilization. It's like a tripod that I create with my neck, and then the two sides of my camera, like this. And then into the side of it, I plug in this microphone. It's a Rode microphone. It's a video, what is this called? A Rode Stereo Video Microphone. The camera costs about $4,000. The microphone costs about $300. And then there's just these little holes in the side and you plug it into the microphone hole. And be careful you plug it into the microphone hole and not into the headphone hole. Because if you plug it into the headphone, then it's not going to record sound. Um, I've made that mistake before. And then this just goes onto the hot shoe at the top. It screws on. And then like an idiot, I have the microphone pointed towards me, so turn it around so that it's pointed towards your subject. The cat wants to come inside. Hello! And then you turn it on just like that, switch the button, and you can control how sensitive it is, like how much audio is going to be picked up, how much background noise, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, now this is optional, but I like to plug my microphone in as well, or sorry, my headphones in. Because when the microphone is recording and the headphones in at the same time, you can hear the quality of the audio. Like it sounds pretty obvious, um, but it means that you can you can notice like oh the wind is picking up. I need to uh, cover the microphone, or I like don't realize that this like little jiggle is causing a shake in the audio. Stuff like that. That if you're not wearing the headphones, you're like seems normal, nothing changes. But the headphones help you realize like the little tiny tiny things in the audio quality. Um, and then the camera totally just records the audio the same way it would if it didn't have the fancy microphone on top. Like the camera has a built-in microphone here, it's just you're going to get better quality audio from this. Um, and the nice thing about this particular microphone, I have a bucking bronco as a cat. <laughs> Um, the nice thing about this particular microphone is that it's well designed for music um, and, and recording things that are like outdoors and live and there's lots of like ambient stuff happening. So there's people walking around and you want to capture the voice of like one person that is singing at your camera or talking to your camera. That's something that this particular microphone is great for. Um, some other microphones are better at like they're picking up all the sounds in all directions and then you just kind of have a mess of noise to deal with. Um, but when you're trying to get something that's focused and, and directional, this is great. And again, I have my little whiteboard here for you. So the camera that I'm using at the moment for portraits and creating music videos and everything is a Canon 5D Mark IV. Whoop, four. I used to shoot with a Mark II and then I upgraded to the four, and I love it. It's great because it's the quality mainly is what I love. Like the pictures and everything are just so crisp and the back, oh my gosh, the back of the uh, camera here is all touch screen. So like you can, there's no car, I can't show you in a demo, but if I take a photo, you can like zoom in just like on a phone. Um, when you're focusing, you can just click on the screen where you want the focus to be, which I think is one of the most awesome things because I do video. So when I'm doing video, I'm trying to stabilize all the time. So I don't have enough hands to be able to push the camera out and keep it stable and turn the focusing ring and touch buttons on the back. So, I mean, I've made that work for years when I didn't have this camera, but now that I have this camera, I can use a new technique. So if you're interested in it, I can use one hand to stabilize either on the lens or kind of like on the back. If I use the back, then I can have finger on each side so I'm still giving like three points of pressure. Um, and then this hand can freely poke and, and focus, or if I'm tricky about it, I can stabilize still with two hands and then just use my thumb to focus. And then this thumb does the buttons. Um, it's kind of like playing a video game. I never thought about that before, but I'm, I was always like, I don't understand how 
people who play video games get like so fast with their thumbs, but then I totally do the same thing just on the camera. Um, okay, cool. So that's why I love this camera. Uh, mainly is that back control and the quality of the images is just so fabulous. Um, about three to four thousand dollars for that one. And then this microphone on the top, it's the Rode Stereo Video Mic, and then it's got this fancy word at the end, but that I never know how to say, which is R Y C O T E. Rycote? 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 I don't know. It cost about $300. And then I spent a few little extras, because you know when you buy something on Amazon and they're like, recommended for you, other people bought this too. Um, I got a fuzzy windscreen windshield that goes over the top. It's not on right now, but it's like, it looks like one of those, it looks like a cat's tail. It's like that. <laughs> that was like $20. And then this cord is as long as this reaches. So if you are always going to have the mic on the camera, um, that's fine. But what if you want to have the microphone elsewhere, um, which I have done before at a photo shoot. So then I got the extension cord. So another $20 gave me like six feet of extra wire. Actually, I have it right here. Um, and the benefit of it is, yeah, the camera and the microphone can then function separately. So you, you plug one in to the camera and then you could have someone else hold your microphone and keep the microphone next to the, the person who's talking or singing. And then the camera can go get all these different angles, but the audio never changes, which is pretty significant because, um, you know, with, with camera, what you see and what you hear, they're so related. So if you're looking at something and it's really close to you, but then the audio, like as the camera moves away, the audio is going to get quieter and then you're like, I can't hear it anymore. Which I actually think when it comes to music videos doing like a live acoustic session, um, it adds a little something because it makes you feel like you're more there in person. If when you get closer, it gets louder, like that's more realistic. It's like a real experience. Um, and it also helps you when you're watching the video to believe that like this is being recorded live. They're not lip syncing it because it gets louder when I come in and quieter when I get back. Um, you just have to do that within like a certain range. You can't go too far away. Um, oh yeah. And then the headphone thing, you have to be careful. So I use headphones. I use, um, these are Sony professional studio headphones and that's the fancy number there. M D R F. Five two seven five two zero. These are also like $300. Um, I use this for music production myself um, and also just everywhere in life. I know I'm never going anywhere without my headphones. Um, and it's so nice to be able to hear the quality back. So I highly recommend that you always have your headphones on. Um, but be careful of things like the squeak. It can help them squeak less if you tighten them up so they're really tightly fitted to your head. Um, but then when I'm at a photo shoot, I just like recording music, usually I have it off my ear slightly because I want to be able to hear what I'm recording, but I also want to be able to hear what's happening in real life, right? Because um, the, you don't want to be so locked in your bubble that you're no longer present in being aware of what's happening around you, which is really important when you're filming, um, like being able to back up. Um, and not run into something or be spatially aware of where people are around you during a photo shoot. And um, you need your ears and like your senses help you figure that out. So even if the predominant thing that I'm hearing is the singer in front of me, I just want a little bit of something that can hear sounds or something behind me. Because again, that microphone is focused on the singer, not the thing I'm about to fall into behind if I back up. Okay, so that's kind of it. I work really simply. Um, oh, and then at the moment, I'm just using two lenses. I use, I wasn't planning on talking about lenses, but I use a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens, mainly for video, um, showing like the portraits, you can see everything that's happening. And then I use a 100 millimeter, which very few people actually use for video, but it's, I love it for video. It's so beautiful. It gives you all the close-ups and like the close-ups on someone's hands as they play guitar or something. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my whole, my whole set right there. Woo. Uh, that's about it. You work with that and it all fits inside of a tote bag. Easy, right? You don't need one of those like giant suitcases that people haul around. Um, that's kind of it. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's Cara. Cara. Hello. Hello. Hi, Shakira. Shakira. I just finished talking, but I was giving a whole rundown of, 
uh, all my equipment that I'm using for making videos and, and things. And basically, I just have a bunch of fun new toys that I'm showing off. Um, but I'm going to sign off now because I have to go and um, actually edit a music video now, which is a whole other process. This is the shooting side, and then there's the editing side, and it just is all so great. So, should we say goodbye? We say goodbye to the world? Goodbye. Goodbye.